12. In 1901, Guillermo Marconi sent the first radio transmission across the Atlantic. In 1913, the Mona Lisa was recovered. Two years after, it was stolen by an employee at the Louvre Museum. The thief was an Italian nationalist who thought the painting belonged in Italy. On this day in 2000, by a vote of 5-4, to four, the Supreme Court decided Bush v. Gore, stopping the vote recount in Florida and making George W. Bush president. And on this day in 1980, American tycoon Armin Hammer paid more than $5 million for a glimpse of genius. He bought Leonardo da Vinci's Codex Lustre, and it set an auction record for a manuscript book. The prime subject is water. The master explores everything, from bubbles to submarines. And that's this day in history. This is Franciscan Media's Saint of the Day for December 12th. Today we celebrate Our Lady of Guadalupe. In 1531, a 57-year-old Indian named Juan Diego reported an apparition of Mary. As he was walking to Mass outside Mexico City one Saturday morning, he passed by a hill called Tepeyac. Hearing beautiful music, he looked up and saw a radiant cloud. Within the cloud was an Indian maiden dressed like an Aztec princess. Speaking in his own language, she sent him to the Bishop of Mexico with the request that the bishop build a chapel in the place where she had appeared. The bishop demanded that Juan's lady send him a sign, which she did in the form of roses in December, that Juan would carry to the bishop in his cloak. When Juan opened his cloak in the bishop's presence, the roses dropped to the floor, revealing an image of the maiden as she appeared on Tepeyac Hill. Within two years, that chapel was built. Over 12 million pilgrims visit the shrine and basilica to Our Lady of Guadalupe each year. In 1910, Our Lady of Guadalupe was named Patroness of Latin America, and in 1945, Pope Pius XII entrusted all the Americas to her care. The new today from Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come and I will dwell in the midst of you, says the Lord. And many nations shall join themselves to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of you. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you, and the Lord will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. So our Bible trivia, yesterday's question, how did the disciple Andrew earn a living before Jesus called him? The answer, he is a fisherman. Today's question, Jesus said that those who take up the sword will die with what? And joke of the day, what's the difference between a Christmas alphabet and a regular alphabet? The Christmas alphabet has no L. And happy birthday out there to Nathan. Nathan, have a great day. We hope everybody has a great day today as well.